Today we have a question that is really in two parts. It's, do animals sin? And was the snake in the Garden of Eden symbolic or real? Well, let's take the first part. <clears throat> do animals sin? Yes, they do. But they also have a way of repenting or whatever it is and going back to what God wants them to do. And I, I think that's different. And I don't know whether there's some animals that just go off and continue to violate what God wants. That may be. Uh, because I don't see it all. Um, and But there seems to be a higher spiritual quality among animals. Um, it's like they see the spiritual realm or communicate differently uh, with God. But I think that their way of, of repenting or seeking God is to, you know, be in his realm. To reach into the spiritual realm, maybe more than we can. But they do things wrong. They also, like little children, they test you to see if they can get away with something. And I don't know, you know, the snake in the garden is a perfect example of an animal sinning. Now, is, he, is the snake real or not real? Well, yes, <laughs> he's both. It depends how you look at it. And it doesn't make any difference because the message is the same. The snake, if it was a snake, it says serpent. If that being is doing what they're doing, I doubt that that animal did it on their own volition. It's like a possession. Uh, it's like the devil is possessing them. And this, the, the threat for that is, is as a snake to do what, what was being told to it, you know, that you'll have to crawl on the ground and all of this, which would imply that before that it, could stand up and whatever else. Uh, I don't know. And it doesn't really matter. Because it's real or symbolic of us listening to something that isn't godly. It also tells us something because it's worded in such a way that it implies that Adam and Eve were used to talking to the animals, which is a very important part of understanding what's going on. And not listening to the voice of God, but listening to the voice of this corrupt world or of the corrupt angels or whatever. We have to separate the two. So, the answer is, did the serpent do something wrong? Yes, and he was punished for it. But it also has to do with the humans, and it's more a problem with the humans than with the animals, because the humans listened, and they weren't supposed to. Amen? Amen.